The U.S. Attorney's Office announcing a massive number of federal drug and firearm arrests in both Little Rock and Pine Bluff. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell and these arrests are the results of three federal operations that were focused on violent crime in the most violent parts of Arkansas. Our Samantha Boyd was at the press conference earlier when these indictments were announced. And Samantha, I got to tell you, this is huge. They're calling it a moment a monumental takedown. Yeah, Donia, they are. It was a massive bust that was led by a massive team of investigators. More than a dozen federal, state, and local agencies are part of these ongoing operations working to address the pipeline of crime from Pine Bluff to Little Rock. Last night was a restless night for hundreds of law enforcement officers that supported uh, this multi-state, multi-jurisdictional operation. 45 arrests made Wednesday morning and 80 people indicted on federal firearm and drug trafficking charges. The U.S. Attorney's Office calling it a monumental takedown. The most violent offenders, the most violent groups, in the most violent places. These are our priorities. The charges all coming as a result of three federal operations, all trying to cap what authorities say is a pipeline of crime from Pine Bluff to Little Rock. We're all in the business of saving lives. That's exactly what we did today. Agencies all crediting their work to Detective Kevin Collins of Pine Bluff Police Department. Collins was shot and killed serving an arrest warrant that was part of these operations back in 2020. When my alarm went off at 315 this morning, that Detective Collins, his spirit was with not just me, but the entire team. Kevin wanted to be in law enforcement since four years old. So this is, has just kind of sealed that in my heart that he was doing the right thing. On the front row of the press conference were Detective Collins' parents witnessing the results of these operations. I know in Kevin's heart, this is the partnership that he worked so hard for. A partnership he not only worked hard for, but motivated others in it to work even harder after his death. I can assure you that that regret and that grief over the loss of his life led to an even greater resolve by his colleagues. Rapper bankroll Freddie was one of those arrested today on drug trafficking and firearm charges. An indictment show he was part of one of the gang investigations by the FBI. He and many others arrested today are being held at the Pulaski County Detention Center waiting to appear in court. The U.S. Attorney's Office says there are still 27 fugitives who have not been arrested yet, but they'll be working to get them into custody over the next few days. Reporting live in, in studio, Smith the Boyd, Fox 16 News.